Flying out of an American airport can already be hell on earth, and on Sunday, one unfortunate passenger finally reached the ninth circle of it. United Flight 3411 was scheduled to fly from Chicago to Louisville, Kentucky. It was overbooked, though, and in order to make room for several employees of the airline, United kicked off several passengers. One man refused to go. He said he was a doctor and he had to meet with patients the next day. So United did the only sensible thing and sent in the police, who did this. Watch. Tyler Bridges was on that flight and shot the video you just saw. He joins us now. Tyler, thanks for coming on. With videos no like problem. these, you wonder if there's a missing context or there's something you didn't see that explains it. You were there. Is this what it looks like? Uh, yeah, pretty much. So there was, there was some buildup to get to this point. Um, you know, prior to the man being uh, drug off, United, United employees had made several announcements, you know, saying, four passengers had to get off the plane before we were going to leave Chicago and that we couldn't leave unless four people got off um, so United st staff could get on the plane to make it to Louisville. Um, and then ultimately they, they said they would randomly select people uh, based on an internal algorithm that um, weighs in cost of the ticket and who was the last to purchase and that's how they picked the four people that were uh, removed from the plane. Um, the gentleman in the video, he was actually the third person they asked to get off the flight. Prior to him, two, a younger couple was asked to leave by the United Gate agent, and they begrudgingly left the plane. And then um, the gate agent went to the man in the video and um, told him he had to get off the plane, and at which time he said uh, he was a doctor, he had patients he had to see in the morning, he wasn't going to get off the plane. And the, um, the gate agent was like, you have to get off the plane. If you don't get off, I'm calling security. And he was like, fine, call security. I'm not getting off the plane. Um, and wow. then two, the, yeah, the two initial security uh, police officers that came on the plane, they tried to reason with the man. They were real calm. You know, they went about it um, and I, in a good way. And he was just would not reason with them. He was committed to not getting off the plane. Did, was he violent in any way that you saw? Um, he was, so when the third officer came on, that was the one that ultimately removed him, he was, be, he was yelling at them, he was trying to fend them off the best he could to, um, you know, I guess he felt like he had to do whatever he could to stay on the plane, but he wasn't, he wasn't hitting the officers, but he was kind of wailing his arms and uh, trying to keep them away from him, um, wow. and then ultimately they had to use the force, as you can see in the video. Well, they used uh, a lot of force. Off. We've got video. Yeah. So he, he was taken off the plane, then for some reason he came back on the plane. I think we can show it. Um, right. And it's, and it's clear from it that he's in, he's in pretty bad shape physically. I, I think this might so, be it right here. He's bloodied. Yeah, that part was really unbelievable for us on the plane. But, um, it, was, it was wild enough that they pulled this man off. You know, he was unconscious when they pulled him off the plane. Um, and in between him being pulled off, the United staff that was, you know, they had to clear the seats for, they came on the plane and they were berated by the passengers on the plane, as you can imagine. A lot of people were saying, you know, you should be embarrassed for working for this company, you should be ashamed of yourself. Um, you know, this man had just been drug off the plane to make room for these uh, So here, So here's, here's the response from Oscar Munoz. He's the CEO of United Airlines. He said, uh, mm -hmm. this is an upsetting event to us here at United. I apologize for having to reaccommodate these customers. Does that look like reaccommodation to you? There's no mention of the fact this guy is bloodied and unconscious. That's reaccommodation, according to United <laughs> Airlines. Yeah, they uh, they definitely could have handled this in a better way, and they definitely could have done more uh, for these people that had to take off the plane. Not just the man that was removed, but the other other folks. United, you know, no one wanted to volunteer to get off the plane because the next flight wasn't until 2 p.m. the next day, which is almost a full 24 hours later. Um, What's so striking is no it's four hours away. Why didn't you, know, you hear in the tape you shot a woman say, "Why don't you just drive United employees? It's close." Mm -hmm. Why didn't they? Right. I, I, 
I am not sure, but a lot of passengers were kind of yelling that um, to United employees when they came on the plane, and you know, people were really kind of up in arms at what was going on around them on the plane. Have, have you read the short story "The Lottery" by Shirley Jackson? I have not. No. Where they they pick someone at random and stone him to death? <laughs> I don't know why this reminds me. <laughs> of that. Tyler, it's great to see you tonight. Thank you for your video and thank you for telling us what you saw. No problem. Thanks a lot.